I think it's almost been 13 years since Wizard 101 has been released. And even now, there's still people playing it, surprisingly. You might even compare it to Skyrim, except to a much smaller degree. Throughout Wizard 101's lifespan, many things have changed, people have moved on, and new worlds have been introduced. However, today, I'd like to talk about a few things I miss about Wizard 101. Back then, the final boss of the game at level 50 used to have crazy mechanics or cheats. The final boss would spam you with attacks you would not be able to live from. He also used to have his wife help him for some reason. I believe that there should be a harder version for players to challenge themselves. Now I'm not saying to make it mandatory for people, I'm just saying it would be a nice option to choose from to make it more challenging. This could vary from making the boss have cheats or making the boss spawn more minions. In general though, I think this could be a way to help bring the old versions of these bosses. Now the equivalent to this nowadays are those boss gauntlets you could purchase which are akin to the idea I have. The only differences here is the rewards could be a guaranteed boss item off the specific boss you're fighting and the ability to team up with random people. A long while ago, near the beginnings of the game, we used to be able to sell pets through the bazaar. The bazaar being the only central trading system in the game. If I remember correctly, it used to have pets you couldn't get elsewhere besides by getting it as a boss drop. Now if I had to guess on why King Zhao removed this was because it resembled more of an underground pet auction house. And I get Elec isn't some shady mob boss in the black market. He's just some rip-off artist that overprices people with a smile on his face. Or it might have been because the pet system was going to be planned ahead of time and it interfered with game mechanics. What I do know though is if they brought this back, a lot of people wouldn't go broke trying to get the right pet body 10 times over. So back in the day, we used to have giveaway codes through this magazine called Beckett. I honestly don't know what these magazines were about, so I looked them up. No, they aren't sports, unless it's eSports or something. Apparently, the full title is Beckett Massive Online Gamer, or MAG for short. Anyway, what really made these magazines popular were the fact that they contained codes for special Wizard 101 based wands or pets. Now back then, I couldn't afford the subscriptions, so I actually didn't look at any of these issues. It reminded me of the time I used to watch the show called G4. And it showed me all these wonderful games that I couldn't fucking play. Getting back to the subject though, to my understanding, Beckett shut down production at the end of 2011. Throughout the years, you got promo codes from Wizard 101 social media sites like Twitter or Facebook. Nowadays, not so much, except maybe through watching live streams and occasionally during holidays. I could never understand how people went through areas with collision detection. People would literally glitch out of bounds where the game didn't intend for them to be. Whether it was behind a fence, a gate, a desk, or even the sewers. Who do they think they are? The Penny Wizard? What was interesting about this though was you could have people mark that area for years upon years. I'm not kidding. There used to be people that did this. All because it was an area people couldn't normally have access to. Looking at Wizard 101 currently, a lot of these things still have remnants of its former self. Like with the glitching out of bounds, you still have people experimenting with house furniture by using rugs to get them out of bounds. I mean, sure, it isn't usable or out there in the public display, but it still shares the same idea, just not the same exact experience as before. Anyway, if you played as long as I have, what were the things you missed about Wizard 101? Comment down below. If you are new, subscribing is just a click away. If you want to see me play other games, then check out my second channel called Froggies 2. Other than that, take care and see you guys.